Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Nish Kumar Singh and uh, we're talking about another recording mode today in UFT which is low level recording. So generally we have, as we discussed in the previous tutorial about the different set of uh, you know, recording modes which we have in UFT and generally we deal with understanding each one of them one after the other that what exactly their specificness uniqueness and significance in the uh, automation recording is so the previous session in case you missed you can go through and understand more about the default and analog recording mode in this tutorial we'll be talking about the low level recording mode so let's understand what exactly the low level recording mode is all about Generally, uh, when you talk about understanding on, uh, you know, working with applications which are created with a lot of objects and maybe those objects are not identified, you know, um, when I say not identified, that means they do not have the mandatory properties associated with that or maybe does not certainly consist of the mandatory properties like uh, the unique properties which can filter them out or uniquely identify them on the application. So when it comes to such situations where identifying an object becomes a challenge, then obviously you cannot use your object repository which will help you to identify that object because it, the object cannot be uniquely identified on the application with help of the properties what it possesses. Uh, other than that, of course, you can make use of uh, certain uh, descriptive programming concept, which we are a little away in this uh, tutorial session. So we will come to it later and understand. But uh, as of now, I can say that descriptive program will not again help you because again, it requires the unique set of properties to be associated as a part of the script. Other than that, the only way what you can work with is the coordinates uh, from the uh, GUI and you can uh, enable certain activities with help of UFT script that is VBS which can allow you to uh, communicate with such objects and uh, do certain operations. So today we'll be looking at some of this example or precisely to understand that how level level can really help you and without making use of the properties or without making use of the object repository, how you can exactly work with uh, the objects on the screen. And generally we'll be taking an example of button, which will be, uh, you know, the operation to be performed on that would be the click. And all we have want is anyhow to click on that button to take you to the next page. So generally the best example to understand this in the real time scenarios when you talk about the stubs and the drivers on the top down approach and the bottom up approach of the integration testing. So generally if a particular uh, page consists of multiple steps to be performed by the user and at the end of in, in between there is a button which need to be clicked to get certain window or move you know, to a selection pane, you select a condition and you come back to the parent page again, or any such button which takes you to the next module or any such activity which is performed by clicking. So generally the developer would define a dummy module or dummy component there just to enable that particular step, but may not have defined all the unique set of properties so that it can be captured in the object repository and stored. So to run a script on that. So in those cases, we generally make use of the low level recording mode and beyond that of course we can um, look at a bit of the hands-on to understand in more detail so let's move into that so here we are getting started with uh, a new test again and uh, we just have to double click to get into the action where we can start recording the scenario what i'm taking here is understanding on a particular button so let me just quickly launch the application for you uh, assuming this application, the scenario what we are considering to understand the low level recording mode is about the, uh, you know, understanding this particular scenario is entering the username, password, clicking on the OK button and moving to the next uh, page and maybe closing that. So let's just quickly record a default uh, recording and see how the recording generally takes place for this and what are the script generated. So. I'm just entering the username and password, clicking on the close and stop recording. So if you see here, I generally have performed certain activities and it is able to capture those information as a part of the uh, script generation and it has captured the necessary steps which are required for the system to understand what exactly we have done. Assuming that this OK button is not 
having the unique set of properties which can really help you to identify the object and perform those set of activities. So let's quickly do it because as we know now, the application is working pretty fine. So of course, we have to create such scenarios so that we can see what uh, low-level recording mode is. So moving to object repository, we have the OK button here. And what I'm doing is to create the scenario, I'm deleting this object. So that is OK button, right click, delete. To understand more about object repositories, you have another tutorial. You can look into the description for the link and you can follow that video for understanding more about object repositories. So now as we delete the object, assuming that the tool is incapable of identifying the object based on the unique properties, or maybe the developer has created like a stub for the time being so that it can just take you to the next page, but does not do the desired uh, operation or functionality. So closing this, which generally saves the step, and we need to eliminate this uh, step from the script. The only reason is because, of course, this step cannot be created as this step makes use of the object repository properties. So finally, we are at a place or situation in the script right now where we don't have any script for the OK button because this script, what we had, we have commented for comparison. If you want, you can delete it for a better confidence. So now all I have to do is like I have to interact with the OK button of this page, but I don't have sufficient set of properties. And to make it unique, maybe say like there are two different objects which are of the same class, that is win button. So of course, I need to find out what exactly to do. Now to, in that case, when it cannot be captured in properties in the repository, I can only deal with is low level recording mode, which captures the coordinates of the object and allows you to click from the front end. So generally what developer has said at this point of time, is that I'll give you a dummy button. If you can click on it by any means, then it will take you to the next page and you can continue further there. But if you can click on that at, by any means, that means it can be anything. So we are trying with low level recording mode. So let's go ahead with this and uh, see how the low level recording mode can help you. So all you have to do is just quickly click on record button and instead of default, move to low level recording mode and then click on that object which you want to capture. And that's for us, it is OK button. So I just clicked, there's one particular step recorded and stop. Now if you see, I've got a step here, but it is different than what we have commented in step five. Here it says WPF button, it is able to identify the class of the object, able to capture the properties and based on those properties, it's worth clicking on that. But when you see here, of course, it is not going based on the properties. And just to make sure that this object is not added to the repository, you can still confirm that. So we still don't have the OK button in the repository. And you can also deal with such things when it comes to descriptive, but we will see that later in the upcoming tutorial. So here, by adding this particular step, let's see if this page works. Click on Run. All right, fantastic. So it, it, it is able to recognize that, like it is able to follow the steps. And if you can just drop down here and see all the steps performed. If you see the step performed is the username, the password, and the click on this coordinate what you asked me to do. And based on that, it has moved to the next page and click the close operation. So now this is just to prove you that how low levels can generally help you and uh, you know can deal with certain objects which cannot be normally dealt without the object properties. So that's all from here in this video. We'll be looking at different uh, recording modes coming up like inside recording mode in the next tutorial. Beyond that, we do have a lot of other things to explore. In case you have any queries, you can put it below in the comment box. You like the content, you like the delivery, you would like to appreciate it. But to just do that, you have to subscribe to the channel and maybe recommend your friends to follow them. And even you can hit the bell icon, which will help you to follow my latest quick updates on new videos on this testing and related concepts. Also, keep exploring, keep practicing, keep learning, which will help you to enhance your skill set about automation testing. So take care till then. Happy learning team. See you soon.